Gaffer Barnsley to come on Saturday. They're flying high in the league at the moment. What can we expect from them? Yeah, it'll be a tough game. I think they've got some some good players, really good players for the level. Um, you know, fell a little bit short last year in terms of getting beat in the playoffs, but brought a new manager in um, who started off well. Has obviously sold a good a good um, a good club because to leave Tampa for Barnsley must take some doing. But um, no, they started off well. They've got good players. That, they've got players that have flickered from from the Championship to League One, and, and invariably when they play in League One, they finish at the top end of League One. So a tough test for us. But I think we're in a good a good place now. We're learning all the time. We're getting more confident at this level. Um, so I think the other good teams that we played this year, your you, uh, you Portsmouths, I think we're in a different place. Definitely defensively, but also our mindset's different as well. So it's going to be a tough game because we're a big club at this level. But obviously we're on a good run. They, last season they came as pretty much as close as you could come to winning promotion without winning promotion, losing so late in the playoff final. How impressive! How impressive is it that they've sort of put that to one side so quickly and started this season so well? Yeah, it's impressive. I think it helps. You've got a new manager because there's no there's no backlog from that. You know, the new manager comes in with his new ideas and gives a new enthusiasm. Obviously, Michael Duff has got a good move to to Swansea, so I think that maybe helped. Um, you know, I think they're a good club. I think they're developing players. You look at some of the younger players that are developing who, who now have, you know, a lot of, of resale value. So I think it's a good club, that club that do things the right way. Um, so, yeah, I think invariably you get clubs that don't get into the championship or fail in the playoffs and then it can have that little little lag at the start of the season. But, you know, I think they started the season off a 7-0 win at home to Port Vale and everybody's thinking, Jesus, they must be a good team. But Port Vale have re- responded well from that. Um, but I, th- I just think they're a, good, they're a good club, good team at this level. How much do you think we've changed since the start of the season? Because obviously the results weren't perfect to begin with, but now we're getting the results and we're getting the performances to go with it. There's not a lot of difference in terms of our performances. It's our mentality and the moments are going for us. Um, you know, the first three games, little things, just little moments, little decision-making, both in our own box and the opposition box. We didn't do right or it went against us and, and we paid the price for that. But I think if you ask most clubs, um, I think if you ask the four managers that came up from League Two to last year to say what would be the difference, I still think in the majority of games, when we want to, we can dominate the ball. When we don't want to and we're quite happy to stay in our shape, we can do that. But some things that you can't affect is defending your own box and attacking the opposition box. And for me, that's the biggest difference. And I think in a couple of players at Barnsley have got the, the really effective in, in the opposition box. Hence, they've scored a lot of goals this year. After last Saturday's win at Carlisle, it's fair to say you may be a little bit disappointed with the way that we played in the game. But how pleasing is it to see us win ugly, if you want to call it that? No, that's again, that's us evolving as a staff, as a, as a group of young players. Where re- people forget that at the moment we're practically out injured and we're Beckles out injured and Thompson out injured. We're a really, really young group. So... When something is, is working for you, carry on doing it. What we don't want to do is it's working for you, then we score a goal and then we change the way that we, we want to play. And in the end, we turned the Carlisle game into a dogfight, long balls, second balls, and we didn't want the game to look like that. There's some games that we're quite happy to go toe-to-toe. We're quite happy to be end-to-end and, and games to be stretched so our midfield players can use the legs that they've got. Um, but there's certain teams that you don't want the game to be like that and we can dominate the ball. And, and we didn't do that. We didn't perform nowhere near to our level second half, having should have been out of sight in the first half. So I think it's just about us is improving, getting better. And, and obviously our our young players, as, mo- as the more minutes that they get, the more appearances they get, then they will start to learn the game tactically as well. It's going to be another big crowd at Brisbane Road on Saturday. Barnsley have sold out their away end. How much are you looking forward to being back in front of our own fans? I look forward to it. Um, I think it's going to be much, pretty much the norm now because I think we're playing against clubs that can fill out our away. It's not like our away... No capacity is three, four thousand. You know, we expect a club like Barnsley to twelve, twelve, fourteen hundred, whatever it is. So um we expect that for the majority of the season. Um and obviously our our supporters this year have been tremendous. We had a tricky start at home, playing against Portsmouth and Stevenage, but now we, we look like we're back on track at home and you know, what one thing I will say about us is we we're difficult to beat. You know, if if teams are gonna to have to beat us now, they're gonna to have to work, they're gonna to have to do a lot of things the right way. Um, and again, that is a lot of progress. Whereas we played against Portsmouth, and for half an hour, I'm sat there thinking we're miles better than them. And we come in ten minutes later at half time, we're two 0 down. And after 51 minutes, we're three 0 down, and the game just gone. 
it's gone away from you because you don't manage certain moments, you don't shift out your box quick enough and you allow good players like Caldy Bishop to, to dominate you in a six-yard box. But I think we've come a long way from that. There's going to be a different look to us on Saturday. We're going to be in the white away kit because Barnsley's away kit isn't available. Is that Does that impact things at all? No, it's our, it's our decision. What we're trying to do is we're trying to help the EFL. Can you believe it? Yeah. Um, no, we got asked a question that obviously Barnes had a problem with their with their bus that that, that caught fire. Um, they then couldn't wear this or whatever the black kit was available, but we can't wear red. So listen, not a problem. Do you know what I use? Common sense. So common sense tells me yes, we've got a blue kit and a white kit. We're still eleven v eleven. We're still at home. It's still a grass pitch. We'll wear the white kit. And what kit the Barnes want to wear? They want to wear the black kit. Okay, not a problem. We will use common sense to forward think and be proactive rather than reactive.